Legion. World of Warcraft Legion. It's been out for a couple of months now. Number of months, actually. Now, a while back, I made a video called Legion First Impressions, where I gave my first impressions of the expansion when it first came out. But it's been a little while since then. And since then, we've had time to really kind of, you know, see the kinks in the cog wheels, right? Kinks in the cog wheels, my friends. And so I think it's time for a Legion Second Impressions video. But, but, because most of you have the attention span of goldfish, I will sum up this video in about three seconds. Are you ready? Here it is. Legion's pretty good. Now, let's talk about the expansion as a whole. First things first, when it comes to Legion, the first thing that needs to be said is that Legion is a pretty good expansion. Does it have its flaws? Yeah. But as a whole, it's a good expansion. I mean, it's really good, actually. Some people have even said, this is the most fun I've had playing WoW since Wrath of the Lich King. A few of my friends have said that. Now, that does not apply to me, but to each to their own, you know, everyone has their own opinion. Um, I would say that I'm having about as much fun with Legion as I had um, in probably, probably like Mist of Pandaria. Probably about Mist of Pandaria, I would say. Definitely a lot of content, a lot of stuff to do. Uh, I'm not like super 100% into it, but not, not because uh, the theme of the expansion is bad. It's just that uh, nowadays I'm, I'm not playing WoW as much as I used to in the past. So yeah, I'm having about as much fun playing Legion as I did with Mop, and that's not an insult. It's not an insult. I mean, Mop was pretty good, aside from all the weeaboo bullshit. You know, pretty good, right? But let's talk about what has Legion done good. There's so much to say when it comes to Legion and what I think they've done good. Um, first thing that always stands out to me is uh, the artifact weapons. Personally, I really like the artifact weapons. I think it's a cool system does have flaws, and I'll talk about that in a second, but as a whole, I really do like the artifact system. There's just some polish that needs to be done here and there, which I think everybody has pointed out. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it again. Um, artifact weapons are great. I think world quests are a great replacement to daily quests. I think they're a lot more interesting. I like the fact it gets people out in the world. Really cool. The dynamic zone scaling awesome again keeps people out in the world and whatnot you can kind of choose your own quest route and shit really cool love it dungeons have been a ton of fun there's been a ton of content coming out with legion i mean shit fucking nighthold just came out and they've already put the next fucking patch on the ptr like goddamn so but i already made a video talking about all that so we don't need to talk about that i mean the whole pvp ranking system i think is pretty fun Again, some small things to say there, uh, but but as a whole, I mean, I just think Legion has just been, it's been great. It's been a really, really fun and enjoyable expansion for both hardcore players and more casual players like myself that unfortunately can't be as hardcore as I used to be, but that's all right. Still plenty to do, plenty to do for me, so I like it. But there are, of course, some things that I wouldn't say, like, Legion dropped the ball on. I would not say that. Just some things that need a little bit of polish and stuff so for example like number one the fucking seagulls in freaking eye of ajara those fucking seagulls like holy shit i didn't realize that the most terrifying mob in the entire game would be a fucking seagull in a freaking dungeon so something like that needs to be fixed take away those damn seagulls all right i'm just kidding i don't i don't i don't really give a shit about the goddamn seagulls but they are kind of annoying i don't like them <laughs> but let's let's get serious. So like for example, uh, personally speaking, whenever I do play a legion, I'm I, I tend to PvP a lot nowadays. Like I, I just PvP. If you watch me over on Twitch, shameless promotion, um, you know I, I just PvP. Like that's all I do. Uh, and one of the things that personally I don't like when it comes to the PvP scene, only one real thing I don't like, is the fact that I find it to be so strange that. The best way to get honor is to do the battleground or the 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 world tower world quests. Like if you don't have that much time to like like if you only have like enough time to let's say like do one battleground or something before you gotta go somewhere, fuck the battleground. Go do the world quest and take the tower. Because you're gonna get more honor doing it like that. And so or you're gonna get more honor doing that. 
And personally speaking, whenever I go to these fucking towers, sometimes I'll run into like one other player, but it's kind of rare. I usually just run in there, kill everything, and everything's dead, and blah blah blah, and that's it. So I, I do find that to be kind of strange that the towers are one of the best ways to get honor to the point that every single day I log in, it's like, well, before I PvP, gotta do the damn towers. <laughs> So I, I, I don't really like the towers. I, I feel that the best way to get honor should be to, you know, do fucking battlegrounds or do arenas. So that's 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 one thing that kind of bothers me a little bit. It makes me like perk an eyebrow, like, you know, who 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 made this decision, you know? I mean, but but I guess they just assumed that it would be a ton of players, you know, fighting over the towers and shit, but it's not. <laughs> it's not. So at least not on my server it's not anyway. There are some people that don't like the fact that they did that whole, like, scaling thing where, like, everybody gets, like, similar health pools and and everyone gets kind of put on, like, the same level and whatnot. And they pretty much eliminated PvP gear. Honestly speaking, like, I... As someone who loves PvP in WoW and has PvP'd in WoW since Vanilla WoW, like, I, I couldn't... Personally speaking, just a personal opinion here, I, I could not give a shit if they took out PvP gear. I, I it does not bother me. I don't PvP for gear. I PvP to kill motherfuckers. Like that that's what I PvP to do. I don't care about gear. But that's just me. And as long as there is a sense of progression, which is, you know, what you get in the honor system, um, I think that's good. Although I will say that I think the honor system should give you more rewards. I will say that. It kind of feels like you go too long without getting any rewards, but again, just my opinion. Let's talk about PvE. Raiding and dungeons and all that stuff. PvE has always been, like, even in Warlords of Draenor, like, you know, despite all the complaints people had with WAD, the one thing that people all said was, yeah, PvE is good. Raids are fun. Dungeons are pretty good. You know, blah, blah, blah. Same thing in Legion. I mean, the raids that I've done have been fun. The dungeons are fun. They're gorgeous. And, I mean, we just got Karazhan, and we're about to get another dungeon in the next patch, so... I love the fact that they kept dungeons relevant, especially with the Mythic Plus system, which I haven't really gotten to do that much Mythic Plus, but, you know, I know some people that do, like, that's all they do, it's just Mythic Plus, so I love the fact they really kept dungeons relevant, I think that's so fucking cool. I think the only complaint that I think I have, and that a lot of people have, whether it be other YouTubers or other players and stuff, is, um... I think a lot of people feel that there's just too many difficulties uh, when it comes to raiding. There's too many raid difficulties, and I think the Blizzard should kind of scale it back a little bit. Uh, when it comes to the dungeons, some people have said, oh, there's too many dungeon difficulties as well, but I don't think so. I, I personally, I don't think so. I think the whole Mythic Plus thing, um, like, I'm fine with them adding more d difficulties to dungeons as long as it keeps the dungeons relevant throughout the entire expansion. But when it comes to raids, I don't I don't think, you know, four <laughs> four difficulties is necessary for raiding. But again, you know, four plus difficulties, whatever. But again, just me. Or that that's just, just what I think, and I think that's what a lot of people think based on comments I've read and YouTube videos I've watched and blah blah blah. Uh let's talk about the legendary system and the artifact system. I think out of everything in Legion, the one thing that has generated the most controversy and the most hate has been the legendary system. And for for those that wonder, you know, why, <laughs> maybe they, they don't understand, um, it, it's just the fact that legendaries, they, there's, they, there's no skill involved with them. I mean, you don't, you don't work towards a legendary in any way, you just get them from doing anything. I mean, you could kill a seagull, like a rare seagull, and, oh shit, a legendary drops. I mean, you could do a world quest, and, oh shit, I found a legendary, you know, or by world quest, I mean doing those, you know, getting those little boxes, the emissary boxes. You could do a battleground, and, oh shit, in your battleground box, a fucking legendary. It, it's just all RNG, there's no skill, and I know uh, YouTubers like Asmongold, Asmongold has ripped apart the legendary system. And when I say ripped apart, I mean like he's really just broken it down and he's really explained all the pros and the cons of this legendary system. So if you want to watch a couple 20 minute videos on the legendary system, you can go check out his channel. But I will say this about the legendary system. 
Um, I think it was a good idea on paper, but I, I do agree that they should have had ways to attain le or to get legendaries right from the beginning. And it's only in the next patch are we going to see craftable legendaries, which I think they should have had that from the very beginning. Some of the legendaries can be crafted. Um, in my opinion, the best legendaries should be the ones that you have to craft. And it should take an absurd amount of resources and gold and all that shit to craft these best legendaries. Um, but that that's just me. That's, that's what I think. But uh, as a whole, um, the legendary system, very, a very messy system, but uh, it's, it's just kind of messy. I don't want to get all into it because I'll be here talking about it for 30 minutes. You can go watch Asmongold's videos, but legendary system definitely needs some, some work, I think, some work. But I think they're making some good changes going forward. The artifact system. Now, the artifact system, again, I I mean, it's it's my favorite system in this entire fucking expansion. Like, I love the artifact weapons. I think they're great. They add a lot of progression. And I know the, the big complaint with artifact weapons is it's so grindy. Like, the AP grinds are ridiculous. And I do agree. I mean, fucking... Legion, <laughs> Legion is more grindy than Vanilla WoW in some ways, like holy shit. Um, but I think as a whole, I, I think the artifact weapon system is cool. It does provide a nice path that you can follow. Everything you do is getting you artifact points, so it kind of feels like you're always progressing in whatever you choose to do. I like that. I like the whole like, oh, you unlock new abilities and new like, you know, perks to your character and their spells through the artifact weapons. It's cool. I think the only complaint that I've had and that a lot of people have had when it comes to the artifact system is that it made Legion, even right now, Legion, I, I don't see Legion as a very alt-friendly expansion. Not very alt-friendly at all. And it's not even just, oh, alt-friendly. It's also like Legion is not a very, like, spec-friendly expansion. If you're someone that you get to play, like, a lot, um, it, it's not... A big deal like you know you can just bust out those AP grinds on multiple specs and shit but if you're kind of if you're if you're a casual player if you're a casual player you, you kind of feel locked in one spec and you feel locked on one class because you know as soon as you switch from like let's say uh, elemental shaman to enhancement shaman you know and you haven't let, let's say you've put all your time in elemental well, as soon as you switch to enhancement, you just have these, like, bare basic bitch, like, artifact weapons. And yeah, you do get those, like, little research notes and stuff, but I still feel like it takes... I still feel like it takes a while. Uh, but then again, I, I haven't really been leveling too many alts in this expansion. I have mostly been focused on just one character in one spec. And so maybe I'm not the right person to listen to when it comes to that, because I haven't really tried to level up an alt or like another spec um so i don't know i'm just i'm just going off the words of my friends and just what i've seen but not really experienced so could be wrong there you could rip me apart in the comments you know tell me what you think tell me what you think and the last thing that i'll talk about before i kind of wrap this up is demon hunters um, because everybody, of course, is going to say, what do you think about Demon Hunters, Nixium, the new class, the new class, the Demon Hunter? Um, I have no opinion on Demon Hunters, because I don't play a Demon Hunter. <laughs> I, I leveled a Demon Hunter to level 100, and, um, his name is Green Pickle, and that's it. And I haven't touched him since the expansion came out. So, I have no opinion on Demon Hunters, but in the time that I did play Green Pickle... And my friends that do play a Demon Hunter, they've, they enjoy it. They think it's a lot of fun. So going off the words of other people and not myself, pretty fun. <laughs> I mean, there might be some broken things with the class that I'm not aware of. Because I don't really follow any of that. I, I don't care about stinky Demon Hunters. It's all about mages, yo. It's all about mages. Like, who cares about a Demon Hunter when you can play a fucking mage? Like, that's right. But Demon Hunters seem cool, you know. It's all right. I kill them in PvP. It's pretty cool. I I, I think my my favorite thing about a Demon Hunter is if you kill a Demon Hunter while they're in Metamorphosis, right? And you kill them in PvP, 
they like explode like their like metamorphous form goes like and like it explodes and then their their dead elven body is like and they fall on the ground and they die like in green fire it's so great man i love killing demon hunters when they like freaking shift into demon form i just instantly go for them because i just want to see them explode and die i like it but yeah, those things, those kind of more major things pretty much make up my Legion second impressions. Um, don't, don't take me saying like, oh, you know, towers and too many raid difficulties. You know, don't, uh, people always do. There's nothing I can do to stop it. But people always like, <laughs> people always like have this weird assumption online I've found that if you criticize something, it means you hate it or like you're, you're ripping on it, but that's not the case. Don't get the impression I'm like shitting on this expansion or you know, I'm hating on it or whatever just because I'm giving a little bit of criticism and saying I find it to be strange that towers give you the most amount of honor and towers take priority over battlegrounds and shit. D don't, don't, I'm not shitting on the expansion. I do think Legion is really good. Uh, definitely some polish needed, you know, here and there, you know, little, little things, little changes here and there, but for the most part, Really good expansion, I've had a ton of fun with it, and at the end of the expansion, just before the next expansion comes out, I'll probably do one more video like this, called Legion Final Impressions, and it will be, you know, where I can say, oh yeah, like they identified this problem and they fixed it, or oh, they didn't identify this one, blah blah blah. Uh, because in my first Legion Impressions video, people were saying, yeah, you should make more more videos like this as the expansion kind of goes on and you can kind of give your impressions as a whole as new patches come out and shit. So, figured now would be a good time before the uh, next patch comes out. You know, the Tomb of Sargeras and shit. So, yeah, yeah. Alright, uh, am I done? I think I'm done. Uh, anything else I want to talk about? Not really. Not really. Uh, I went to cook out. Went to cook out. Got me a nice, nice iced tea. That that had that that right there is more important than fucking talking about Legion. Like motherfucker, I'm drinking iced tea, bitch. Like back up. All right. Uh, I think I'm done. Yeah, I guess I'll see ya. <laughs>